while since I've done a whole video. It's just a small snippet of it. I don't really know what I'm talking like that. Okay, sorry guys. So basically, I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul because I just got some stuff from Luvisa that I actually needed. So yeah, here's some of the things that I've been enjoying recently. So the first one is actually this um this huggy thing over here. It's basically like a really cute star thingy. It's really mini and tiny and it's perfect for my second lobe. And yeah, so like I actually am contemplating on doing my cartilage over here and just like one side so it looks good um, in Lovisa of course and so I don't know when I'm gonna do it but most likely on a day where I don't think I'll be doing anything too mad so like let's pray for the best it's gonna be here alright so the next item that I got that I've been loving and enjoying is obviously <laughs> A watch. Now, I don't wear watches, but when I saw this, I'm like, I have to get it. And even everyone was telling me to get it because it's just so nice. So it's literally this rose gold, um, it has like a beige strap kind of like watch and it tells it, it tells you the time, okay? Like, no one has to be like, oh, what's the time? Time for you to get a watch. None of that business bullshit anymore. So yeah. A watch that suits me and also I got this necklace for my mom because I thought it would suit her very very well It's just this very dainty like turquoise light blue um, Number that I got it's really cute and yeah very very nice And also I got these very cute earrings for myself When I like well, I technically like when I tell you guys things that I need I don't actually need this because I already have a lot of earrings But these were just too cute to not get They're little ballerina and ballet dances um, earrings And they have like stars on them and they're gold And so I just had to get them and they were on sale So I just had to get them Aren't they just the most adorable thing ever? Come on little black ballerina yeah so that's it for my vlog guys I'll see you for dinner because I'm making dinner Hi guys, as you guys could probably tell from the last clip, I just got back from acting class and so right now I'm actually preparing myself supper. Now I've been wanting to try this recipe forever. It's actually the carbonara samyang um, chicken noodles and actually I've been wanting to try this recipe for a freaking long time because I've been watching a lot of mukbangers do it and I'm like that looks freaking good so I'm like why not let's just try it out for today so yeah I'm gonna show you guys step by step how we're supposed to cook it so obviously the first thing that you need is some chicken noodles this is the carbonara one and it's my favorite flavor of all and even though it's supposed to be carbonara it is very very spicy so we're obviously gonna add some cream in it and we're gonna make carbonara out of it. So let's get cooking. You guys, so what you guys wanna do is you guys wanna pour like a half a cup of fresh cream and after that you wanna go ahead and add your cheese or whatever but this is optional because I just wanna make it as close as possible to the recipe. So I just added a block of cheese as well as mushrooms and I'm just waiting for it to go to a boil and I can add the noodles in. So yeah, that's about it. It's actually really easy. And I just decided to go with cheese here, over here. And then I'm waiting for everything to melt. And you can actually put in the noodles and that's it. You're done. All you need is just the sauces from the Samyang packet. And bam, you got yourself a carbonara. It's that easy to make, guys. So I'm just going to put a fried egg on top. And I'll be eating it with another dessert as well.
Welcome to my mukbang guys <laughs> So basically I have this with me with a fried egg on top and I also have some um, I think it's like spring rolls kind of that I like just fried earlier and also some of this um, Kueh which is called appam which is something that's very nice in Malaysia that we have and it's actually Basically like it's a crab cake but thicker and have like a lot of filling inside and it's really nice So I'm just gonna get right to my food I also added glass noodles by the way They are like these very nice like thin glass noodles that my mom got so I just had to add it in And the texture is amazing Guys, I can taste the cheese, it's heavenly. I added so much cheese in it. I'm gonna smash the egg. And oh my god, the runny yolk. This is so, oh my god, this is heaven. Okay, let's go for a big bite. Some egg. I'm gonna try some of this. I'm gonna try some of this. It looks really good. I'm sorry I'm not talking, it's literally so good. Guys, if you have Samyang at home, make this. It's really... Honestly, I honestly want people even make the original Samyang because all you need is just cream. If you don't have cream, just use milk and cheese and that's it. If you're feeling extra, you should use butter as well. Some mushrooms here, you guys could add any sort of ingredients. Honestly, you could also go with bacon or sausages. It would be the same. The only downside to this is I will say that it is quite overbearing. Like it might taste quite overbearing. So um, if you guys have kimchi or like vegetables or like something with more spice, definitely have this with your kimchi because that one will definitely help like soothe the overbearing taste. Yeah. Mushroom. What are you guys' like favorite vegetables? Like list it in the comment section down below because mine is actually um mushroom. And oops, I just forgot that I didn't close the toilet. I'm sorry if that was distracting you. Yeah, the powder room store is not closed, so yeah. Thank you. 
so good freaking good basically i'm in starbucks again because for the second time in this week because i am a basic bitch and literally my second cup of like matcha green tea latte in this entire week so um so basically i'm waiting for my friend because i have a lot of tea to spill do you guys just have a moment to my ex crushes and I'm freaking nervous it's freaking cold in here and I don't know my heart is literally pounding I don't know what to do it's about to be a shit show so I can't even express to you guys how nervous I am right now but it's okay we're gonna get through it then guys there's this one guy I think I still have a crush on him so like literally it's so awkward because every time I have these like weird ass dreams. If you guys watch my story times, I'll tell you guys that about this particular guy, I keep having like weird dreams of him. And so like, it's really weird because I'm sending the quiz to him as well. So I'm literally like dying over here. Hi, I'm really sorry if you are taken aback by the visuals on my foot. Now, commercial break for the vlog. Basically, I just stepped right into a pokey needle and at least half of the needle was inside my foot. And yeah, basically it was bleeding out, I was literally dying. Well, it wasn't that dramatic, but you guys get the idea. So yeah, basically now I have to walk on like hopscotch foot all day long because I just stepped right into a freaking needle. And that's the commercial break. Hello guys, as you can see I'm actually in the train station now and I haven't taken I haven't taken the LRT ever since like the lockdown started so this is my first time and honestly I don't think I would be the one that says this but I kind of miss it We're actually at Fahrenheit 88, which is one of the malls near Pavilion And we're gonna try out this Korean restaurant that we saw on Instagram It's called All Duck And I think it's a new restaurant, so we're kind of figuring out where it is right now And we're gonna go try it out because we are suckers for Korean food So yeah, we're gonna order like so, like some traditional like I think chambong and like tangsu just to try it out And after that we'll go cafe hopping So see y'all later pictures and Peyton is kind of hungry so we're gonna go to the food now I'll insert a few pictures over here um, the ones I've taken off my food blogger pics hashtag if you guys ever need your food pics just come to me I will help you gladly take them so yeah it's time for us to eat it now finally I'm excited I'm really excited okay let's go let's dig in
for watching this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to be subscribed because subscribing is free and we all love free things, don't we? So see you guys in the next one. Bye.